In modern day society, everyone is focused on having a perfect body. We have altered, altered the definition of a perfect body to skinny rather than healthy. Beauty now applies only to a person's physical appearance rather than what's inside. Americans love to compare appearances and aspire to look like the beautiful, slim people on television. A simple Google search of the word diet results in more than 700 million results with diets recommending different methods of eating less in order to lose the most weight in the least amount of time. Americans blindly follow these diet plans without considering if eating less can actually help them in the long term. The definition that I'm using for dieting is a temporary and highly restrictive program of eating in order to lose weight. I have had friends who have struggled with their self-image and have attempted to become skinnier through many failed dieting attempts. For this reason, I've researched the pros and cons of dieting and why most of work. Diets are not effective in losing weight in the long run because of the brain's rolling weight loss, the self-image issues of America, and the risk of developing an eating disorder. In the article, Why You Can't Lose Weight on the Diet, Sandra Amo, a doctor in neuroscience, explains that humans are born with a body weight range that varies from person to person. By attempting to alter this appropriate range, one is unknowingly encouraging their body towards obesity. Eating healthy foods is important, but without the right portion size, this eating does nothing but hurt the body. One good example to support this theory is the NBC show Biggest Loser. Despite the Biggest Loser contestants, aggressive change to diet and exercise, most of the contestants regained 70% of their weight soon after the season finale. The weight gain is not a coincidence. It is triggered by hunger-inducing hormones that cause overwhelming levels of hunger when you don't eat. The brain is what controls the weight, weight range of the body and keeps it in that range at all times. When a person diets, even if he or she drops 30 pounds, the brain thinks the person is starving and wants to regain the weight as soon as possible, and even usually a few more pounds. Most people think the brain has nothing to do with diets, but in reality, the brain is in a position of power. It is proven by multiple studies that dieting has the strongest effect on those who start in the op optimal range, which is almost half the female dieters in the United States. This comes from the self-image issues of many Americans, which is perpetrated by the media, especially social media applications like Snapchat and Instagram. Many of these apps have beautifying and filtering functions which fix many flaws, including the app that determines what the app determines as excessive weight and imperfections. Many women in America suffer from self-image issues and hope unrealistically that dieting will improve their confidence and beauty. This lack of confidence can lead to drastic measures, including starving the body to lose what is perceived as fat. Former Visit Biggest Loser coach and advisor Jillian Michaels writes a blog encouraging people on the weight loss journeys and helping them to eat healthy balanced diets. She says that by not taking in enough calories, one forces the body to cannibalize muscle and hold on to fat. Starvation triggers the brain towards weight gain rather than weight loss. This process is cyclical. A warped self-image causes excessive dieting, leading to weight gain instead of loss, and ultimately an even more distorted self-image. This image can also lead to multiple eating disorders, and even propel people to acquire anorexia bulimia. People who diet are actually eight times as likely to develop an eating disorder as people who don't. If you define diet as just eating healthy, then of course there is an advantage. The correct portions of diet and exercise can make you a, health, a healthier individual. It is when the diet is not just aimed at being healthy, but in dropping weight that this is a problem. Even with regular diets, yes, you lose weight, but about 95% of people who lose weight by dieting will regain it in the next one to five years. The risk of developing an eating disorder the increasing self-image issues of America, and the brain's low weight loss are all key contributors in determining that eating less is not and will not ever be an effective method in dropping weight in the long run. What's most important is that you're the healthiest, most confident version of yourself.